way smarter than a fifth grader. Today we are gonna find out if we are smarter than a fifth grader. Grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Absolutely not. Me neither. Maybe a kindergartner. This should be really interesting because neither of us are that smart. <laughs> you know, I would uh, say I'm very smart when it comes to things that actually matter. Like, I don't know how many ounces are in 18 cubic feet of air pounds. I don't know, okay? If your little Timmy in fifth grade knows that, good for you, Timmy. Good for you. But guess what? <laughs> Step out! But yeah, clearly we're going to be doing a little challenge here. We got a bunch of questions that were asked or maybe asked on are you smarter than the fifth grader? We're gonna see who is smarter, me or Claire. There will be 10 rounds, well five rounds. We each get a question each round. Whoever gets the most right is the winner and is clearly the smartest and the most important person here. So hopefully it's me. If it's Claire, this is gonna be bad. Hopefully we tie. Let's do this thing. two yardsticks. She also has a 12 inch ruler. She laid them end to end. How many feet is the line? How many feet? How many rulers did she have? She had one 12 inch ruler. And she had two yardsticks? <laughs> yeah. That's the answer is seven feet. You are correct! Yes! There's no way I would have ever gotten that. I have no clue how many feet are in a yard. I how must... many feet are in a yard? Two and a half? Three. How would it be two and a half? Oh my god. You knew the answer. Oh god, this could be bad. Let's go, baby! One zero, good guys. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, not really. Oh but... man. You thought that was gonna be a tough question too. How long is one regular term for a US representative? Years. Is it three? One, two, four, or six. A U.S. representative like the president? No, 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 no. That is not a U.S. <laughs> representative. <laughs> the House of Representatives? Uh. Three, one, It's a two. four. It's a four. You think it's four? Mm-hmm. You are cool, not correct. It's uh. two. Bang! The president is four. Well, I just figured if the president is four, then the representative would be four, too. No, oh, they're two. How do you know that? Because I went to fifth grade. Maybe I didn't. Well, I'm technically two for two. I would have got that one right. All right, let's go. This is going to be easier than I thought. Round two, I'm up one zero. Good luck, baby. Which of the following states is not on the Gulf of Mexico? Oh, God. Okay. Georgia, Texas. Florida, Alabama, Louisiana. It's gotta be either Georgia or Alabama. I think it's Alabama. You are incorrect! No! <laughs> what was it? I have no clue. It's Georgia! God dang it, I was... I, that counts. I mean, I was pretty close. Is it really Georgia? God dang it! Well, I was close. I, I mean, I thought yeah, it through. Uh -huh. I was okay, close. Yeah. I just couldn't think if draw Georgia or question. Alabama was Draw, high. Draw my question. Okay, well, Claire could potentially tie it right here. In the northern hemisphere, what month is the if you autumnal can't even equinox? You can't even say the word. Autumnal, uh -huh. autumnal, autumnal equinox. <laughs> I have never seen that word in my life. In the northern hemisphere, what month is the autumnal equinox? August, September, October, November, April. Uh, autumnal? Autumn, which would make me think like, when is it autumn in the northern hemisphere? Mm-hmm. When is it autumn? I'm going to say August because it's odd. You are incorrect. Whoa! Okay. It's September. Dang it, I almost said September. How do you not know when the autumnal equinox is, babe? It's common sense. Carefully is an example of what type of word? Adjective, noun, verb, adverb, or pronoun? I would, I would never get this one. Like, okay, he, I would he, never. He, verb is what you do. So you can say he carefully watched. So watching would technically be a verb. So I'm going to say that's an adverb. <sighs> Am I right? Yes. Yes! You know, you just got to think it out, baby. I might have sounded like an idiot. I was like, verb you know, is what you do. You just got to think it out. I can do You know, you just got to think it out. All I'm saying is, uh, hey, I babe. I can be a fifth grader. Huh? Hey, babe, do you know what two out of three is? Two more than you. I don't even need the percentage. You got none right. Woo! Oh, I just broke my elbow. I flexed too hard. Uh. 
Ooh, okay, if you did not get this one right, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> well, you might be breaking up with me. Who was the first person to step foot on the moon? Do you need the names? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God. Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, John Glenn, Sally Ride, Alan Shepard. Neil Armstrong. Uh, yes. You're sure it wasn't Buzz Aldrin? Yeah, but Buzz Aldrin... No. Wait! Didn't Buzz Aldrin step out before Neil Armstrong? Let me repeat the question. Wait, this is actually... Who hard. was the first person to step foot on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. I need your final answer. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so scared. Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, first I feel like you just did that to throw me off. On the moon. Come on, babe, go it with your buzz, gut. It's Buzz. Go with your gut. My gut would be Neil. Then go with Neil. Neil Armstrong. I need to say final answer on one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to ask the question one more time? Who was the first person to step foot on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. I need you to say final answer. A final answer! I need to say final answer. Uh, final answer. Who? I need to say the name and say final answer. Buzz Aldrin, final answer. Is Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just morphed your mind into another dimension. This is like interstellar. She literally knew it was Neil Armstrong. I convinced you. Wasn't Buzz Aldrin with him? Maybe. I don't know. Wow, I'm so dumb. Over three. I don't even want to post this video. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Over three. Which of the following states is not a part of the four corners? Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Nevada, Arizona. Why did you say that so fast? Because <laughs> I want you to get it wrong. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the four corners, okay. Nevada. <laughs> Cha -ching! Let's go. Okay, here you go. You got this. Which is the largest South American country by area? Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, Peru. This one's tough. I want to have even got this one, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. Brazil. Correct. Yes. <laughs> one for four. There you go, babe. There you go. So wait, I'm three for four, you're one for four. So technically it's impossible for you to win, but we got a couple more questions here. Let's just keep going. What's the lowest prime number? Zero, one, two, three, five. Oh man, I don't even know what prime means. <laughs> it's like it's divisible by itself, right? You stupid. Right, is that what it means? Prime, zero, zero? And the answer is- God dang it! Two! Do we know what prime means? No! I think prime means it's divisible by itself, but technically, Anything divisible by zero is zero, so maybe that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is the fastest bird on foot? Ostrich, sparrow, eagle, dragon, woodpecker. Put a dragon in here. Are those like confirmed real dragons? I don't know. Uh, ostrich. Correct. Claire's making a comeback here. So what? I'm four or I'm three for five. You're two for five. So this could be a tiebreaker round, or this could be you seal the deal. And we only said we we're gonna do five rounds, but guess what? We miscounted how many cards we had, so we are going to do six. Oh my god! It's insane. I'm gonna bet all my points on this one. What planet? is closest to the sun. Mm. Venus, Earth, Mercury. It's definitely not Earth. Cause we would all be dead. All right, Venus or Mercury. I feel like it's gotta be Mercury, right? But Venus, you don't really see Venus. I know the sun's pretty far away. The sun's like a billion times bigger than Earth. And you can see that pretty big. So it's gotta be Mercury, final answer. You are cheating. How am I cheating? <laughs> yeah. Babe, you just gotta think. You just gotta think, okay? I ain't got the guaranteed dub, but if you get this right, I don't know, we don't know what this question is, but if you get this right, I'll go ahead and say you're smarter than me, even though statistically, <laughs> physically, emotionally, and psychopedially, you're not. Okay, this is good. This is good, you got this. Ha, oh, <clears throat> sorry, I almost mis said the first word, and when I say the first word, you're gonna be like, wow, you're a freaking moron. A, <laughs> heptagon is a shape with how many sides? Hepta? Heptagon. Four, six, seven, Eight, nine. Heptagon. It couldn't be like hexagon. How many is in a hexagon? Eight. You stupid. Octagon is eight. You Six dobo. is a hectagon. Eight is an octagon. How many is in a heptagon? Nine. No, that's impossible. Because it doesn't have to be even. 
Bruh. I'm telling you, a shape can have an odd number of sides. Like no, a you're convincing me. I can't listen what to What do your... you think a triangle has? I can't has? listen to your manipulation. <laughs> what does a triangle have? Not even sides. Yeah, so don't think, well, it has to be a square. No, it does not matter. They can Hepta? have as many sides as possible. But I haven't even heard of that. <clears throat> would it be seven? Which would be a septum. Oh. Septum. <laughs> My final answer is... Seven. No! I'm joking. I'm joking. Babe, nine. you got it. Is that your final answer? Yes. Oh my god. It was seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven. Oh, why do you think I screamed no? I was gonna say no, I almost got you. My name is Claire. And I should have never graduated the fifth grade. Probably even the fourth. We don't know how I have a college degree. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. My name is Andrew. <laughs> and I'm four sixth. Smarter than a fifth grader. But there you guys, oh! <laughs> <laughs> but there you guys have it. Your boy is way smarter than a fifth grader and way smarter than Claire Bear. Um, yeah, I just nailed it. I can't, I mean, technically I use my wizardry. No, I'm just gullible. You. You're not gullible, I'm just really good at convincing people. But yeah, I won, obviously. I don't get a prize. I really wish we would have done a prize. I'm so glad we didn't do it. But a maybe next time, maybe we'll do Are You Smarter Than a Kindergartner? And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap a like and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye is a thing you say when you're leaving. That's like what we sang in second grade. <laughs> I hope your parents watch this video and are like, wow, Andrew's actually really, really smart.